What is up gamers, welcome back to another predecessor gameplay video for you guys today. I actually wanted to play some offline, some crunch, not some crunch, not crunch, some some Grux because I feel like Grux is a champ that not a lot of people are talking about. I feel like he is very, very strong right now. Uh, my first trade, not too great. Uh, I was kind of like trying to figure out uh, if my CD CDs, my RMB CD is the same as steel, and it looks like that is indeed the case. I, uh, of course, am weak side, so I'm just gonna chill. He's gonna get level 2. I'm gonna give him full pressure of this lane. Um, I don't really care. I do have a Countess here. Unfortunately, I'm not level 2, so that is a bit unlucky. He did just dash. Uh, we got his flash, nice. So I usually go E second, but because he was getting out of my range, I decided to walk for Q, uh, which makes my level two a bit worse, but it's still fine. We're still chilling. Uh, now he has no flash. I can kind of dive him whenever I want. Uh, of course. Uh... All right, there we go. And I was seeing what he wanted to do. A very good thing to do uh, against um, getting hit on, I guess. Um. Just gonna clear my wave. Don't really care much. This wave is gonna shove, so what I'm gonna do is... I cannot even get a uh, gold here. I don't know gold, but cyan. Because the Countess is here. Now I kind of can, but it's not worth it. So I'm just going to hit a quick reset. Work towards my Sky Splitter. I'm going to go Sky Splitter first item. I think it's going to be very good into a steal. He's going to be building health. Guess what is good into building health? Uh, dealing damage that is based on health. Uh, so, yep. I'm going to go straight into Sky Splitter. Maybe Basilisk if need be. But I might not have to go Basilisk. It really depends uh, how I feel uh, with just Sky Splitter. Because uh, I really want to get Bone Seeker and I also want to get Gaia Greaves. So uh, those are kind of my core items. There's kind of a party in mid. Uh, that is Countess Blink. I did just see that. Uh, interesting, interesting. Alright. So I'll try to do the quick trade that you usually want to do with Grux right here. You do this, you do this, and you walk back. Now he, of course, can just run at me, but that is fine. I don't want to fight in this wave, right? But this is kind of like the usual, uh, the usual way you want to trade. I don't know where. Okay, the countess is on the right side, so we're kind of chilling. We can kind of do whatever here. There you go. That's the usual trade again. Just E into our ambient and just walk out. I don't need to keep pulling him because I cannot really kill him. Here I can just bait his RMB. Never mind, he does not want to take the bait. I do miss one minion there. There we go, there's the bait. Bait that. There we go, and we, we bait the RMB, we bait the dash, and we can get a nice and easy kill on this guy. Again, I feel like Grux is not really being played by people, and I don't really understand why. Uh, I, know, I know people know that he's really good, but I feel like, not necessarily being played actually, I, I meant not really showcasing how good Grux really is. I, I haven't really seen videos where people are uh, kind of showcasing how to lane with Grux and how to uh, be able to be an absolute, like, ginormous Grux in, in later down team fights. Now, of course, the issue with Grux is that without Blink in team fights, he can be a little rough. So that is why we build items like Gaia Greaves that gives us some move speed so we can kind of catch up on people. Unfortunately, my team is not doing too well. My uh, my uh, support is 0-3, my mid laner is 0-2. Uh, feels like the enemy team is pretty, pretty strong right now, but I think I think it's still all fine. The only issue I have here is that they have a lot of AP, so I'm going to need to get an AP item very soon. Doesn't look in there. We go force the thing as well. He is probably gonna reset. 
which is fine. Kinda sucks, but it's fine. Maybe because Countess has no bling, I actually abused the Countess on her red side. No, 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 come here, come here. Okay, the Countess is kind of trolling. Do I kill? Nice, we kill, we kill with the bleed. Very, very good right there. And we're just gonna put this award right here, and we're gonna reset. I knew that the counter should be here because she just did Fang Tooth and red buffs ones at around 650 or something. Don't remember the exact timing, but that's a, a nice good kill. She actually had blink. I did not expect her to have blink. I guess someone else blinked the mid lane that wasn't the Countess. Uh, maybe it was Gideon. Maybe it was uh, the uh, Muriel. No idea, but that is a nice bounty for me. She was 2 and 2 I also make sure that she gets no value from the red. And my Countess also gets the 2 camp there. That is pretty good. I'm going to call him missing. Because I'm not paying attention. All right now I have Sky Splitter. I don't want to fight too much because the counter should be here. I do have Blink though. So, I'll ward right there. You can just see us. Uh, I tried to interrupt it. Tried to interrupt the dash. Did not time it correctly. We can dive him though with E RMB. So that's what we'll do. Okay, the mortar might kill him. Pretty good. We're gonna need to start roaming soon. Of course, we need to get power first and other important things. The mortgage does not kill him, but it, maybe she forces... Uh, he does force blink, maybe. Or, oh, he has to be forcing something. There's no way he just lives without anything. Uh, I don't want to share my power gold with the mortgage, but I guess it has to happen. Uh, not big of a deal. Hopefully this is, she does not take my minion wave as well. She kind of is, but it's fine. We get majority of it. Uh, hopefully my countess decides to play for orb here. Uh, that would be pretty good. I might have to reset though before orb. Unless the Countess is running straight here. Okay, the Countess is running straight here. So I will uh, play for this. See what we can do. Hopefully um, we do not get contested here. If we do, I need to save some mana for my ult and some other abilities. Uh, hopefully he also gives it to me because I'm really massive. Did not want to get knocked back there. But it's overall fine. Hopefully I get this. I'll ping that I need it. Alright, he takes it. Unfortunate. Don't know why he would do that, but it's fine. This guy's doing okay. He went Orb of Growth in the jungle. I think that's kind of grief. If I'm being honest, I feel like Orb of Growth is pretty much... Useless. I'm gonna go bone saw as I said earlier. Really want to get bone saw. Actually, the sword is kind of a waste for now. Of course, we'll, we will build something out of it, but for now, unfortunately, it is a waste. I did not pay attention that that is not an item that goes through bone saw. I just kind of just bought it. But yeah, I'm also going this, so it allows me to like clear wave really fast. Missing mid, careful uh, in mid lane. I'm missing right or left. Sorry, Jesus. I say every lane apart my lane. As you can see, Red is going to spawn it soon. And he is going to have Blink again. But we should be fine. Alright, he's dead, he's dead. We just run on the Red buff. Because I have a window. I could run mid, but that won't do anything. So we just take the Red buff again. We just gotta play the map right now, which is fine, I can do that. I might have to run uh, to mid lane now. Now that I have the red buff, they killed the Muriel very good. The Gideon just used blink and ulting, so that's also good. That means he shouldn't have blink.
You guys gonna TP back maybe? He doesn't. We should do or uh, thank to it. I can actually kill this guy as well. We'll just keep absorbing uh, pressure, hopefully. We can get a lot more of the Steelers here. Uh, this guy just like comboed with me, so we got double ulted. Um, luckily, uh, I don't think there's anything that happens here. I can just heal off this. I need to pop potion. Alright, there we go. Luckily, I am Guruxing. I'm pretty massive, so I could have just sustained that. Uh, the scary thing was the Mirror Duel. I couldn't just uh, take the knockup, but I ended up doing it. And uh, luckily, I still uh, live to tell the tale about it. Uh, let's actually go this item. I think this item is going to be absolutely wonderful for how massive I am right now. I could have went Gaia Greaves, but I'm going to go this item. I do need an MR item next, and I'm going to go Absolution. I think Absolution is a wonderful item as well. Uh, maybe I just get a river buff here and uh, hit mid lane, try to break this mid tower. Or just even invade this Countess, who should maybe be on her camp. We'll see. Yeah, she is right now. I need to run. I just heard her. He's gonna blink. There we go. We get the blink. Very good. I thought my ult would actually uh, hit the Gideon in the air. I guess that doesn't. That's a, it's a new tip that I just learned. But luckily we are too massive that they cannot really deal with me. Yeah, we are fully Gruxing this game. There's nothing they can do, unfortunately. I'm going to reset, work towards my Draconum, and then get maybe our red buff. Because I feel like red buff is really good on me. I kind of wish uh, I was given the mini prime there because if i had mini prime as well i would have been so unbelievably massive but not that big of a deal i'm gonna have to run mid lane here this countess is so far behind it's kind of kind of on me that i put there this far behind honestly he did get a kill though i should run mid but at the same time i really want this he's gonna tp back he's not go i thought she would i'm gonna just catch this mid wave i don't need to stay left lane anymore i just need to terrorize the map right i'm so massive i'm 7 and 3 so uh it's kind on me that i keep the team winning and then a good mentality because uh you can never tell when the team just mentally loses it right we have all been uh we've all been through that one I'm gonna use potion. I see the red spawning very soon. So again, I wanna play for the red. And this should be here. I cannot use a ward, but she should come right here. There we go. Didn't need to ulti there, but it's fine. We're just gonna make sure uh, we do a little bit of hate timing. I don't care about left lane. Someone else can go. I need to break mid lane. As you can see, the Gideon is going to ult this guy. No, he's not. Okay. He's kind of respecting it. I hear him. Just saying hi to him. We are actually... Oh, our scene's going crazy. We're actually so hate timing this Countess, though. Yeah, it's actually... I feel a little bad. But we're just, we're just Gruxing. We're just being Grux. I see a red buff for me. Or a blue buff. Sorry.
They're not playing against me, but I, I, I do have a lot of resources to deal with them. So, uh... I feel comfortable. I'm gonna reset right before uh, Tank Toot. Uh, the Steel is here, so they're getting ready. Let's say Notify Tactics group up for the boys. I do have this. I am gonna go up Solution. It's very good into their CC, so we're gonna do that. This also gives me attack speed. It's a perfect uh, Grux item. Very, very good Grux item. I don't know what they have used, but I don't really care either. Um, I think we should be fine, unless we get like Omega stunned by everything in the game. There we go. Let's not get hit by that. Let's just do Fang Toot. We don't have the Countess here, so this is a little scary. I'm just kind of just gonna look at them. Look at them funny. Gonna secure it because uh, we did not have a jungler here. Countess is going in. That's, that could be good. We don't want to get grouped up by the Gideon ult here, so we, we gotta call it careful and just retreat. It's fine if we don't fight it. I don't like this positioning, so we're just gonna call it. Left is pushing, so I don't really have much, much to do. Uh, okay. I'll just order it here. This Gideon is just looking at me, bro. Alright, that's uh, his blink. Stalked it. We are doing a lot of terrorizing right now. There is a lot of people. Nice. We get a kill. There's nothing for me to do on left lane. So I, I feel like this is like a weird game where I'm just spare my roaming. I feel like a second jungler at this point. I think I kill him. Oh, Morgish does. Nice. I might be dead here. Yeah. Might be dead. As soon as I saw the steal, I, I knew I was doomed because I had no flash, right? I cannot really interrupt the Gideon ult. That's the one unfortunate thing about this. Uh, one thing that can help me against Gideon is Legacy. That's this item right here. Gonna give me CC immunity once I'm below 40% health, which actually might be really good into them. I might build it last item, but I don't want to build it too early on in the game because I still want to go Gaia Greaves. I feel like Gaia Greaves would be still very, very good here. The only issue I have is Gideon, right? Gideon ult, that's nothing else matters. He also has true silver actually, so I cannot deal with it. So I just have to run away from it, right? So if you're gonna deal with it, make sure you have the items to run away from it. Something like Gaia Greaves that gives you move speed will help. Uh, tenacity will help. I think it's 60% tenacity that you need and with 60% tenacity you actually are just Omega Gaiman. It, it literally does nothing matters at that point. Uh, you do not get pulled by um, What are they called? By, by the Gideon ult. So uh, yeah. Right. Let's catch up this left wave. I finally have a wave to catch up on in life. So uh, we'll do our uh, duty as an offlaner. It's not what I meant to do, by the way, I did not mean to dash. There we go. Clean up left. Clean up one more wave. They still got the uh, side lane buff, I do not really care though. We get that, we're level 14, the steel is actually level 13, although he's 1 and 5, that is a bit surprising, but he did stay in lane for a bit longer than I did. I uh, want to play for the next Raptor. I'm going to reset, finish my item, which is Absolution, but Absolution is very good. Uh, it also gives me some move speed after being immobilized, so that will also help. Uh, I do need Gaia Greaves. No, what actually, let's go Legacy first. With Legacy, it might be better, because they do have a lot, a lot of... Um, What's it called? A lot of um, MR. 
And the Mar is the only thing that matters right now. Although Gagris would be a very good item. Might need to go uh, the D Ward. That would be pretty helpful. I'm gonna run here. Hopefully they don't see me. It's smooth. I don't want to die to this camp. I could have bolted that one, but it's not worth it because I have no follow up. I don't want to ult it again. Just gonna chill. Okay, there's your combo. You can still win this. Very slowly though. Very, very slowly. We kind of just got comboed by them. Here we go. We are so gruxing, it is insane. Yeah. As soon as they spread out a little bit, I knew the game, the fight was actually fine. There we go. Fully gruxing, we can take a Fang Tooth if the team comes. Uh, I can just kind of... Oh, this is the last one. Just go orb, go orb, go orb. Orb we go. We need a... Uh, we need... Go orb, uh, dog, please. I don't know what, why the dog went for the OP, but it's fine, actually. It's not the end. Oh, that hits me? What the hell? I can thank this. Although the steel should tank it, it feels like the Countess was slightly tanking it, so I will decide to tank it instead. Grux is very good at taking objective with Sky Splitter, by the way. It is very, very good. And with all, of course, even, even better. I'm gonna tell them be right back. I'm gonna get my Legacy, which is what I need. And then we should group up. A high tactic, screw back, attack, tank it. There we go. Um, my next item. Again, sad that I built this as my last item, but we do need Gaia Greaves. Why is my duck left, boys? Uh, we need Fang to it. My duck is actually pretty massive, so uh, we do need him to do this. I still have Blink, though, so that's very good. Oh, they have actually Steel on the other side, so that's actually pretty solid. I hope, uh... Alright, I secured it. I had to make sure we secure it. I, did, I didn't trust my jungler. I can run. Play cooldowns. The steel is here. Now make sure to chill. Pull both. There we go. We're playing good cooldowns here. Yep, slow him down. Oh, that shit blocks me, actually. There we go. Very good job. And that should be game. And that is why uh, Grux is on top of the tier list for me. Uh, of course, I still think you can shut it down. They just kind of didn't do it. They actually had the comp to do it because the steel should be good into the Grux, only if you receive ganks. Um, lucky, I should have went for the Q first. But yeah, that was a Grux game. Holy Grux thing, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, let me know in the comments section down below. We'll quickly check 
uh, the stats at the end of the game like we always do because uh, I think you guys find that very informative to know how much damage I did or how much damage I tanked or stuff like that so we'll quickly take a look at that but as per usual thank you all for watching have a wonderful rest of your day I will see you tomorrow for another predecessor gameplay video peace out gamers